female sheriff's deputy kidnapped and raped over the weekend is said to be recovering tonight. Now this is prosecutors now say the men charged in what they call a planned attack could have other victims as well. William Luth and Brady Newman Cadell faced a judge for the first time this afternoon. Luth pleaded not guilty while Newman Cadell asked for a public defender. Our investigators spent the day digging into the suspect's background. 41 Action News investigator Jessica McMaster joins us now. And Jess, what have you learned today? Yeah, Kristen and Mike, we know William Luth has a criminal record. Also today, we spoke with former neighbors of Brady Newman Cadell, who tell us the suspected rapist terrorized the neighborhood he grew up in. Patricia Brewer and her grandson Justin say that up until about five years ago, Brady Newman Cadell lived just two doors down from them in this independence neighborhood. They say it's a holy terror. They tell us Newman Cadell liked to fight and that Justin, even though several years younger than Newman Cadell, was one of his targets. When I asked him why, his response was simple. Because he's Brady, because he's just a jerk in general. I never liked him. It sounds like you might have been intimidated by him. A little bit. I mean, he was 13 or 14. I was probably seven. And he beat you up. Picked on me, stuff like that. Brewer says being an adult didn't make much of a difference to Newman Cadell either. I was out on the driveway and sweeping it, and he threw a wheel at me, a bicycle. Did wheel. it hit you? No, I dodged. I jumped out of it. Did he say anything when he threw it at you? He laughed. After knocking on several doors, we weren't able to find anyone who knows William Luth. However, we did discover that Luth has a criminal record. In 2009, Luth pleaded guilty to two misdemeanor counts of giving false information. A Facebook search shows Luth was recently married and is the father to a young child. As for the Brewers, they tell us the neighborhood is a lot more peaceful without Newman Cadell living in it. He was a menace and he needs, he deserves this jail time. I think he deserves a lot more than jail time. Newman Cadell and Luth are expected to be back in court on the 20th of this month. I'm investigator Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News.